hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the Millennial Movie Member Request. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. That's on Mondays, on Fridays, my top tier patrons, my Millennial Movie Members can pick any movie of any genre of any year, and I gotta watch it. So today's request comes from Inky Binky 2000, which is Big Fish from 2003. And some of y'all might be like, Ashley, 2003, that's not a classic film. Baby, it's about to be 20 years old. It can almost legally drink. I was pleasantly surprised when I did the monthly live hangout and you know, Ingy Bingy was in the chat and he was like, tell the people which movies, you know, I want them to choose from. And it was between everything, everywhere, all at once, or this movie. And the chat in Sunday's live went crazy for Big Fish. And so then of course I went over to Patreon because anytime there's a poll, patrons help pick it. And I put it over there and Big Fish won no question about it. So I'm really excited. And another thing, Millennial Movie member John also said that this is like one of his favorite movies ever. It appears that it gets a lot of love. Let's do something that I haven't done in a hot second on the channel and that is look up a movie poster. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at and it is from the imagination of director Tim Burton as an adventure, what? An adventure as big as life itself, Big Fish. Okay, well first off, uh, the title is Big Fish but on the cover it looks like a tree. I wonder what kind of adventure we're going on that's as big as life itself. And is that like the tree of life? We got some, like a field, a dirt road, a field. I don't know who's gonna be in it, clearly. <laughs> because this movie poster gives nothing away. So uh, no more diddle dally. Let's get right on into this millennial movie member request, which is Big Fish from 2003. Now Inky Binky did say that this wasn't necessarily like a Christmas film, but like an emphasis on family, maybe, I think is how he worded it. Like an emphasis on family and relationships, which it fits this time of the year. Oh my God, why does this intro give me Little Mermaid vibes? Is that a catfish? By the time I was born, he was already a legend. I feel like every town has one of those. Some said that fish was the ghost of the thief who drowned in that river. I respect that theory. I didn't say anything. Jessica Lang. Oh my God! Hella the Carter. She's she's like Tim Burton's favorite. Do you something he truly desire? A cigarette. Your finger. Gold. Oh. <laughs> Me and that kid were both wrong. She'll be mother of my child. My no, he loves telling this story. Leave him alone. Steve Buscemi. Danny DeVito. Oh, darn. Look at her. I love Jessica Lang. She's so pretty. It could absolutely get it. Is to offer her a wedding ring. <laughs> oh, that's a cute story. Bentley, you were selling novelty products in Wichita the day I was born. Hey, let him live his fantasy. I, I, I know every punchline, Dad. I can tell him as well as you can. Okay, so it's a story that you can pass on to your kids. You're embarrassing yourself, Dad. You just don't see it. Did I do all this makeup just to cry? I didn't speak to my father again for three years. Oh, I'm gonna cry in this movie, aren't I? And I don't think he saw anything of himself in me. A heated pool? Y'all are very wealthy. Father's life, it's impossible to separate fact from fiction. I'm intrigued to watch this, considering, you know, Tim Burton's involved, because so far this doesn't give me Tim Bur Bur Tim Burton vibes. Good Lord, look at that fish! Okay, I didn't know a fish could make that noise, and I hate it. CGI fish, but, but the noise it created. Stop it, stop that right now. Stop it. To shoot a baby that far, she had really been doing her kegels. Uh, it's more than they thought. They're gonna stop chemo. I'm gonna cry. Okay, this kid is actually really good at shadow puppets. The spiders and the quicksand. Okay, he is such a great storyteller. That most towns of a certain size have a witch. Your mama's a gypsy. Your mama's a witch. 
one glass eye which was said to contain mystical powers. As a glass eye does. Fine, I will. Fine, you do it. Fine, I'm doing it. Okay, then do it. Edward, don't. Is that Miley Cyrus? Is that Miley Cyrus? Is that Miley Cyrus? I simply would have shat myself. I brought it. Let's see. Prove it. The rumors are true? You gonna have a heart attack while looking at Playboy? Good lord. I wasn't old at all. And you was touching yourself. Is that Helena? I think it is. Well, you know what? I found the Tim Burton aspect of this film right here. Found it. Because he doesn't eat, he gets weaker. And because he's weak, he doesn't want to eat. It's a vicious cycle when people are going downhill like that. You said months? To the day. <laughs> wow. Good guess, buddy. Ah, oh, my granddad used to drink those all the time when he was going through chemo. I'm gonna cry! I should have done my other filming before this. It's a good makeup day for me. Vipers and the birth print and the midnight feed. Did you do any of that? No. <laughs> but I hear it's terrible. <laughs> I saw my death in that eye and this isn't how it happened. I love that. Hold on to that hope, buddy. Surprise, and would want to ruin it for you. <laughs> Two versions of things, events, stories, you. No, let the mystery remain. That's what's fun. Is it weird to say that I can't wait to see how this man dies? <laughs> ooh, ooh, nobody just finishes in sure. It's like drinking chalk. It's gross. The rich like me. Ooh, puberty, baby. Truth is, no one <laughs> quite knew what was. It does kind of happen like that. To find an answer to my giganificationism. What? Giganificationism. I don't know much about football, but I don't know if that was a legal play. That's a six, six, blah, 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 blah. That's a successful lawn care business. That's the same guy who played um, Roy in The Office. I don't know his real name. Oh. That's a big stranger. Son, that creature could crush you without trying. Let him try. Okay, a cave littered with bones and vultures? I would simply turn around. Go away. That scared the shit out of me! <laughs> Hagrid? My arms are a little stringy, but there's some good eating in my legs. I mean, I'd be tempted to eat them myself. Maybe he don't want your meat. Maybe he just wants a friend. But maybe you're not too big. But maybe this town is just too small. Oh, that's a good thought process. Now you can eat a lot, can't you? I can. <laughs> yes. Show me the fit. <gasps> he got a haircut and everything. I'm so excited for him. All our doors are open. Ah. What is the purpose for keys to the city? Like it doesn't actually go to a lock, does it? See, he's the only one that shows her kindness and grace and love. A new one which was paved and an older one that wasn't. And I chose the one less traveled. Good a time as any to find out what lay down that old road. No. <laughs> no. Let me tell you something. I would not be going down no haunted trail without my backpack and a buddy. I have only been stung by a yellow jacket on my inner thigh. And I never want to experience that again. Admit that he's made a terrible mistake. You've made a terrible mistake, buddy. I don't like this part. 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 What do all those shoes mean? I was told growing up that meant like drug things. I don't know. Is this the banjo movie? This is not the banjo movie. We weren't expecting you yet. Yet. Well what is this place? Why y'all barefoot? You're from uh, Ashton, right? Why does he have all this information? This is either about to be a really touching story or the beginning of a horror movie, and I don't know which one it is. Hey, it's Steve! Jo What's his name? <laughs> Belushi. Bashimi. Who is that? <laughs> Whoa, these people got these crazy names. What a pleasant little city. Oh. I want to know about the barefoot things. 
I am not sure if this is comforting or terrifying. How a place could feel so strange and yet so familiar. Okay, great. I'm glad he's also feeling this feeling. Great. It's really something, buddy. You do it great. This is why you should never show a work in progress. Exactly. Not everybody's gonna understand your art. That's a butt. That's a snake! <laughs> no, ma'am. The snake disappeared and so did the woman? Is this movie about mermaids? Maybe. What did she look like? What? Nakey. Was she naked? Mm hmm This looks different to different people. Oh, not the leeches! No! I refuse to believe that leeches are real. The concept of leeches freaks me out. Or... Ah! <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. I saw something move in the corner of my eye. I, I knew good at damn well there was a wall back there. Anyways, okay. Well, that's what I get for hanging out with scotch tape. Listen, my guy, if you're gonna be barefoot, I'm gonna need you to trim your toenails. Why was that weird? And why is the man dancing with him now? <laughs> Stop it. But no one's ever left. Well, that is not comforting. I don't know. What does this mean? The tale, like he said, feels so familiar and welcoming, but at the same time, incredibly creepy. I'm sorry, are the trees moving? This isn't how I got Oh, is it that simple? Is that how we conquer fear? This isn't how I die. Mm, this silence is deafening. True, you talk about religion, you never know who you're gonna offend. Oh my God, could you imagine being alive right now, my dude? Listen, let him tell his stories. Let him be happy. He's clearly very sick. Oh. You better stop! You better stop, old man! I had a dream where this crow Came. And crows are a bad omen. Your aunt is gonna die. What I tell you? What I tell you? Kept looking around, waiting for something to drop on his head. Well, if somebody tells me I'm gonna die, I'm gonna be a nervous wreck too. The milkman dropped dead on the porch. Stop it. My mother was banging. That the is milkman. so funny. Stop it. That is so funny. Never supposed to marry me. She was engaged to somebody else. What a hussy. He would have told it wrong anyway. All the facts, none of the flavor. <laughs> <gasps> this baby better make it or I'm gonna cry. What a beautiful baby! I thought I was gonna walk the rope. I didn't realize this was gonna jump down. Ladies and gentlemen! Is this gonna be Danny DeVito? You may oh my god! You it's Danny DeVito! <gasps> Is it gonna be Carl? Okay, the explosion was fun, but that is not Carl. What? I'm sorry. Here comes Carl. Yeah. Yeah. Yo Giants beat. Okay, why does he look like the Oompa Loompas from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Like the round face and everything. Time stop. And that's true. Oh, well, that's really sweet. Now, how do they do this? The cat's in midair and everything. How do they pause time like this? That's fun. Okay, this is so cool. It moves extra fast to catch up. <laughs> Tell me, Carl. He has contracts ready to go. Carl, you might need to read that fine print. You might need to consult with your buddy before you sign that. Every day of the rest of my life looking for her. That or die alone. Damn, kid. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Reddish, blondish hair, blue dress. Uh, how do you know so much about his future wife? Friends of the family. Who oh, is she? well. Oh. You found your way to find your wife. You a hot shit back in Hickville. Why do I feel attacked? <laughs> I'm sorry, kid. I don't do charity. Okay, but like he could be a janitor or something. And you won't have to pay me. 
Oh, now free labor. He can get behind that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not worth that. Like if somebody, if, 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 if I were his dream woman, I'm not worth that. <laughs> Her favorite flower, a daffodil. Well, that's not very descriptive. Watch that elephant shit! She likes music! These are too vague. But not her name, and not where to find her. Listen, if the trailer's a rockin', don't come a knockin'. Is he gonna be f***ing her? Oh, a dog! I really thought it was the lion. Is it that serious right now? Is it that serious? Wait. Him? You shot the human and not the dog? This movie is nothing as it seems. Nothing. So wait a second, where was Mr. Calloway? Cause that's a full moon and that dog looked like a wolf. You mean to tell me Danny DeVito's a werewolf? That's Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito ass? Didn't kill anything, did I? He's a werewolf? Can we talk about Danny DeVito got some muscular calves and a tiny little ass? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. And what's wild is you know that is somebody else's foot. And that is disgusting. It's a getting closer than a roller coaster. Okay, she's really pretty. <laughs> but my name is Edward Bloom. And you're gonna marry me. I love you. Okay, well, too much, too fast. I knew it the first moment I saw you at the surface. I would simply shut the door. I'm engaged to be married. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Woo. Oh boy. Yeah, you don't know what he's been through to find out more about you. Now I wouldn't be going this far. You're gonna start make, making her like the butt of jokes and stuff. It might turn her off to you, you know? Okay, now hold on a second. If Blake got somebody to do that in the sky for me, that's a little different. He'd be getting this punani every single day. Anytime he wanted it. All oh, the buttercups or daffodils, whatever they're called. Stop it! Wow! Girl, are you seeing all you need to see of your future husbands right now? I will never marry you. What? Right there in front of God and everybody? Only the groom would change. Do what you gotta do, babies. Most men, they'll tell you story straight through. But that's not a good story. I mean, I don't blame you for not wanting to be apart from her for three years, but taking all the hazardous assignments just to get sent home early? Okay, this is terrifying. <laughs> Baby, are you supposed to be laying in there? Because I don't think you're supposed to be laying in there. Get it to her, girl! You look good! Is this burlesque? Are they conjoined? I just simply wasn't ready. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, clever. I like that. I can tell you for certain, that is a very much one of the kind show. <laughs> oh. He's already taken out so many people on his own. You don't want to do this right now. Do you really think love's gonna keep you from getting shot right now if somebody else walks in? Oh yeah, you're gonna be a big hit in America. Bob Hope? Not Bob Hope. Although he just turned 99. Did you know that? I thought he was dead. No, that was Bob Barker. Hold on. No, Bob Hope is very much dead. Could you imagine? She thought he was dead for four months. What about the details? How they fell in love? You know he's gonna leave him out. He don't believe any of his dad's stories. Another family, another... He leaves us and goes to them. Maybe. He's never told me a single true thing. Okay, that's dramatic, don't you think? Did they ever tell you about... Yes. Don't cut him off like that! Wait, and flew off with the whole car. 
Okay, well, I didn't hear the story, and I want to hear it from him. They didn't count on that being an elephant frozen inside. I love this story. I tell stories. You tell lies, Dad. You tell amusing lies. Flavored stories. That everything that you said was impossible, everything. I felt like a fool to a... I'm gonna cry! <laughs> Who do you want me to be? Just yourself. This is him! And if you can't see that, it's your failing, not mine. This is hitting too close to home for me! On a multitude of levels! Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Scared the living daylights out of me. Not everything your father says is a complete fabrication. Yeah, you douche. The about Edward Bloom is that I am a social person. And he is a ladies' man, clearly. What a beautiful car. Blim man. Oh, I haven't heard Ramblin' Man in a hot second. Every day a new adventure. That's my motto. Good for you. I'm robbing this place. Uh, I don't think this was the kind of adventure Edward meant. I don't think this is season the day, my guy. You mean to tell me Edward's about to become a bank robber? Oh my God, what did you just get suckered into? Okay, listen, you were driving a very obvious car to rob a bank in. Not a good idea. Which, I mean, he didn't plan to rob a bank today, so. His first million dollars, he sent me a check for 10,000. Well, that's a good friend. To buy my wife a proper house <gasps> with a white. That's a beautiful home. Jessica Lang is perfection. I don't care who you are. Look at her in that blue dress. I know she was wearing it earlier, but we couldn't see the whole dress. And anyways, I love it. Am I gonna... Stop! I don't think I'll ever dry out. Y'all are... It's like emotional edging. Hello. Um... Please tell me that's the daughter of the witch. Do I have to give it back to my mom? Well, I won't tell her if you won't. <laughs> He said, deal, bye. Were you having an affair? What? <laughs> what a question. I was expecting to dance around this for another half hour. Well, were you? Uh, because he's dying. Well, if they were having an affair, don't you think you could have broke the dying news a little bit easier? I'm sure he did a lot of things that he never talked about. Oh, that's, that's a good line. I would imagine that is a thunderstorm unlike any in anybody's life. <gasps> the naked butt lady fish thing. But she's not real? <gasps> the key that got ripped off in the forest. The epitome of networking, honestly. Look at beans on that window seal. Look at me, it's on that window seal. And you'll come go as you please to one place or another. Yeah, pretty much. That's Jenny, the little girl. <gasps> I did not realize that. I never would have thought about getting Carl to help. Now you go mess around and fall in love with her. Wow, and the kitty cats. So this is where he was gone two weeks at a time, where his son thought it was a separate family. His son wasn't totally wrong. You could leave it there. In case you need a place to hang your hat. Girl. Girl! He is married. Uh, don't be embarrassed. Uh, kind of hard to do in this case. What's that? And why did she hand it to him like that? Aw, she is gonna sign it over. Is that what that meant? I think that's what that meant, right? What is this Clark Kent looking curl doing on my head? What a beautiful city. Everybody being barefoot stresses me out. I love being barefoot, but you know, that's how athlete's foot gets spread around. I was in love with a man who could never love me back. Oof, tough break. I wanted to be as important to him as you were. I was never going to be. Just stop. I don't know how much more my heart can take. How much longer we got? We got like 20 minutes left in this movie and I just, I'm gonna cry eventually. Did it happen while he was gone? Did it happen while he was gone? It better, it better not have. I swear to God. You called if there's any. I will. Let me tell you something. If I see Jessica Lane cry anymore, I'm gonna lose it. Had to see you and trying to have a heartfelt talk. Uh, 
greatest annoyances is when people try to talk to those who can't hear them. Stop! My father and I never talk. <laughs> I didn't like that comment. <laughs> you ever tell you that? No. <laughs> And that's the real story of how you were. Not very exciting, is it? No. And an elaborate one involving a fish and a wedding ring. You would want this. <laughs> I kind of liked your version. <laughs> Why did it? I like the ring one better. You're going to miss these stories. <laughs> You saw in the eye. They never told me that one. <laughs> you gotta tell, you gotta make it up. You gotta tell them the story. That I got hot and crying. Dad? You're uh, different. <laughs> Dad, you're in no condition. Get that wheelchair. <laughs> Hurry up, we haven't much time. <laughs> Church people drive to. He's so happy. He's so <laughs> happy. <laughs> Hell yeah, Carl. I'm coming in clutch. <laughs> As you get close to the river, do you see the naked lady? <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding me? Jessica Lang, just be waiting in the river. <laughs> My girl in the river. <laughs> Woo wee! <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna <laughs> have one of these kind of crimes. final joke, I guess. <laughs> and he becomes the stories. 
they live on after him. Way <laughs> he becomes immortal. Well, friends, My God. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Hold on. I gotta see if that little girl is Molly Cyrus. I bet she's in the credits. Destiny Cyrus. Yeah. So this was before that she, you know, did her whole name change or whatever. Okay. Well, that's. <clears throat> I need some water. <laughs> get through it. You gotta get through it. Okay. <sighs> wow. Um. <laughs> How am I gonna review this if I can't even start? <laughs> I simply really like this movie. I really love this movie um god uh <laughs> it hit home on a lot of levels and oh my god what a beautiful story and how he becomes the legend he be oh, oh. <laughs> oh <clears throat> Oh, it really upset me when he kept cutting off his dad's stories. Oh my God, I have so many big emotions right now. <coughs> <coughs> I just have so many emotions and I just think it's really neat. Uh, oh my god. Am I gonna stop crying long enough to talk about the movie? <coughs> okay, I had never heard of this movie before, okay? <clears throat> And now that I have watched it, why is it not more talked about? Why is this just a film that people forget exists? Because, like, 
I feel like I had never heard of it until Inky Biggie suggested it. And then when I mentioned it in the live, it was like the chat lit up. People were like, oh my God, what a good movie. Like, <sighs> this was such a good movie. I had no idea I was going to cry like this. I'm, I'm going to be real honest with you. I don't know the last 20 minutes. I don't even know if I've said anything. Like, during that whole story, I think I was just listening and crying and feeling <laughs> and taking it all in. So I don't, I don't even know if I said anything. <laughs> but I am so glad. <laughs> and that's why he's, oh, okay. Okay, I love how the ending was the son having to tell the story. <laughs> the story of his dad's life as he knew it from his dad. And he had never been a creative storyteller. And that's why his dad said in the, in the glass eye. <laughs> His death was a surprise because he didn't know what his son was going to say. He didn't know the story his son was going to tell. <laughs> Just to find out at the graveside that maybe his stories weren't as fake as he had told them. As he had thought they were. <laughs> I love Jessica Lang. I only know her from American Horror Story and now Big Fish. I don't think I've seen her in any other <clears throat> movies on the channel. Get it together! I don't think I've seen her in any other movies on the channel yet. Um, Danny DeVito! I love Danny DeVito! If I talk about the plot of the movie, I'm gonna start crying! This is just, listen, I'm be, I, I, listen, I think I've been filming for 10 minutes and maybe have said a whole two minutes of coherent sentences. So I'm going to leave it like this. Is Big Fish is a really good movie with a great cast, fun stories. It's just really good and just an excellent meaning. It's just a good movie. It's just a good movie. I'm just... Hooey. <clears throat> this was an amazing movie and I don't understand why it's not more talked about. Why like it's not... Why is it this labeled as one of those must-sees? I don't know. But for me, my book, it's a must-see for... If you're listening to my recommendations, number one, you probably shouldn't have watched this review before seeing the movie. But. You should see the movie. It's a good one. It's a real good one. <laughs> I'm also just laughing at myself. It's a real good movie. Five out of five stars for Big Fish. Inky Biggie. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much for suggesting this movie and for absolutely emotionally destroying me today. It was worth it though. It was worth it. It was worth it. Thank you for supporting me and the channel and beans like you do. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a no. I have just big feelings and I don't know how to cut them off, okay? Like, subscribe, stick around, because coming up Monday is Jingle All The Way. And then rounding out the year and also starting the new year will be Endgame, part one and two. Part one on Friday, part two on Monday. Ugh. Uh. I have a lot going on right now. <laughs> Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeverse. 
I need to go take off my makeup and like cuddle with beans or something. Cause your girl's not doing good. <laughs> uh, my nose is running. And now I need to wash this cardigan. Whatever. Like, subscribe, stick around, link to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTube verse. <laughs> and I'll see you right back here on Monday for Jingle All the Way. <laughs> Bye.